Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, innovating, and amazing propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one and only master propaganda hero of Psych Defender of the Fatherland of here to a 2v2 on uh, Burkina Faso. In the northwest, we have here Scotch and Django Fun here for combined American British Task Force, second armor supported by elements of the 53rd Infantry Division. In the southeast, we have the German army here no with idea. Dunkirk and Will the Noobs fighting up here with the third Panzer Grenadier Division. Holding the line there as a infantry division fell back previously due to heavy fighting. No son of battle groups yet here in the early game. We got sappers, we got dingers on the way for the British, we got riflemen, machine guns, and bikes. All the good stuff. As always, big hearty thanks to my patron supporters for continued generous and heroic support of the propaganda cast. Their continued financial support to keep making all of these videos possible. And a big hearty thanks to those who keep commenting and liking my videos. Helps out immensely with the YouTube algorithms, which otherwise, like, you know, bury me in a very deep hole so sandbags here pioneers up there always a good idea to maybe consider some sandbags around your fuel points particularly more crucial points makes them easier to defend and of course maybe a bit of barbed wire depending how you position it so your opponent can't use that sandbags against you second m 42 for dunkirk perhaps not going to go for any grenadiers which again in the current meta game not too surprising most players tend not to be big fan of the grenadiers as they just lack punch so many players will typically skip them unless they intend to go for MP40s. So, side here got punnies moving up. Steady as she goes otherwise. Sandbags in the center. Up north, bikes from another Panzer Pioneer. Second MD42 team already here for Dunkirk. South side here we got the Dingo catching the Pioneers in the waters. Flying away with this little Bren gun there mounted in the front. Pioneers quickly withdrawing in the center there. We got heavier flying going two squads here of the second armored. A company there. Able encountering here the German forces in the centre. Bing Dingo, I was about to say Bingo, but no Dingo moving in there. Scotch response to the MD42 with a mortar, that is a very good counter to the MD42. Second MD42 push up on the south side. We do get some grenades out for Dunkirk after all. At least a bit here. Panzer grenades there out for Will the Noobs. South side of your British forces. Well, they have sort of slightly probed up the centre. They're not doing too much there. And Scotch is sort of kind of getting bogged down in the centre, not making too much progress, which is great for the Germans. And north side is obviously they're not doing too much either. So, so far the Germans coming off, I think, to a relatively decent start here versus the Allies for now. That's it. The Americans are digging in between the houses, which is going to make it a bit tougher for the Germans without flame for us, like easily get them out of there. In the south here, we got Pioneers versus the Dingo. Pioneers moving in as well there to support Dunkirk. We got the support from Scotch and there you go. More to begin behind the church machine gun vacating the premises. More troops there being drawn into the south here as Dunkirk is trying to evict the British here from the south. North side is a bit more of a mixed mess. They have adventures. In the center, right pushing forwards. Panzer Pioneer there slowly being bled out. Low on health. Will the noobs he just withdraws the Panzer Pioneer, realizing he's just going to waste manpower. Otherwise, he could actually preserve a lot of manpower if he just gets them healed up. So, thumbs up there to Will the noobs. Sharp decision made there. Mortal only for Dunkirk to count his opponents. Mortal, he's trying to keep it a bit more in check. Plus, in general, Mortal is always a nice thing to have. Going for the fuel point there. At the same time, Panzer goes here under Will the noobs catching the Mortal there of the Americans of Northy. Situation a bit messy. We got the light support company up for the noobs. We got the assault grenades up with MP40s. And we got the Luftwaffe company here for Dunkirk. Also, oh, he cancelled the mortar. It also looks like he lost a pioneer squad. Got a bit of airdrop here as Scotch has gone for airborne. And is dropping in some paratroopers here from the 82nd airborne to support his advance. Also gone for. 30 cal airdrops there as well. Interesting enough. Machine back in the church here for now. Assault goes bring up here the main road. I think the only reason is merely to put the machine gun back there is due to the fact that Will Noob's Panzer Grenade is keeping the American mortar a bit at bay for now, but obviously that's only going to be limited here. As they're going to have to withdraw swiftly. South side continues to be a bit of a hectic battle for North side, largely German. German 2 to 1 here for Dunkirk. The like to punch HP bargain. Assault goes bring up machine gun setting up here as well. Catching the armies out in the open, those for dumpy Yankees. And mechanized company here for Will the Noobs. A lot of action here so far, and we got mechanized for Dunkirk. Not too much of a surprise, it does synergize as well with the 2 2 ones. He's probably going to go for Akkarts anyways down the road. 
Certainly, I would argue Pekino Farmlands is a fairly good map for light vehicles as well. Good bit of room to maneuver on. Machine then needs to vacate the premises. All alone healthy. Don Kirk is pushing his machine, crew, machine gun crew to the very limits of endurance and of course what the human body can, you know, withstand in terms of sheer concussive force. Second machine gun team also not having a great day there. Got the armor card here, the 2 to 1, a light to Tristan Panzerwagen here. Racing forwards here. Feel does far to land. Driving down the main road, their machine gun there, hosing down any American or British forces in sight there. Over to Will the Noobs and to Janko, who has gone for Air and Sea. Will the Noobs have yet to go for Battle Group? So at this point, it's pretty much just Will the Noobs has yet to pick a Battle Group. As both Allied players have gone for the air focused ones with the Airborne Infantry. And, well, we have Dunkirk hasn't gone for Luftwaffe. And of course, Will the Noobs can't go for anything like that. I mean, they've so far yet to add a. Uh, any sort of airborne infantry for the deck and so far looking at what's sort of been hinted at it's only not looking like the one we're going to get at the end of april is going to be a airborne battle group there for the deck sadly could have been easily some italian ones there after that they are right around the corner for all the noobs allied forces got some tech going on the six pounder guns grenade launchers or grenades upgrades there meanwhile though Scotch is not really showing much of an inclination towards taking up here. Might plan to go straight for the tank depot, which, with the airborne builds for the Americans, is quite common since they can just fly in the airborne and anti tank guns being airdropped. So they don't have to go for the motor pool there. Go Arcard coming up. He's supported by Panziegas. Bite me in the way here. This is going to leave here Scotch forces up north a bit exposed since he doesn't have any anti tank weapons at the moment. So his forces here are quite deliriously. In trouble there against the German forces if they're coming like you know with the armored cars and whatnot. In the center, we've got a bail up here, we got two mortars now for the Allies. Machine gun oh parents from the church here with a pair of light machine guns. So no bazookas there, in fact, at all from Scotch. Certainly, I think further leaving his position risk at Jaegers with Panther Strex. Can already hear the booing and the hissing. Do need to tone down the Panzer Strikes, but in the end, I think these are toned down most anti tank held options. They need to be more like Co 1, where, like, you know, at a certain range, this, besides, like, you know, five meters away, they were wildly inaccurate. Armored Car Soldiers, Ming Panzer as well, they're sweeping push here by Will the Noobs here, cleaving in through Allied lines here. Dingo there, knocked out. It is Kaput, six Panzer Gun there, scores a great hit on the Arctic there. And Scott seeing a man lost as Lewis goes down. Assault Grenadiers, though, keep pushing forwards here. I feel like Will the Noobs has made a bit of a mistake that could have cost him the Assault Grenadiers, but a bit of fortune smiled on him. Granada may have here from Dunkirk, slamming into Allied positions. The British mortar crew getting a bit of a taste of German artillerymanship. Another Arcard here for Will the Noobs. Two to one hanging back here for Dunkirk. Arctic 250 in North, it's further north here, bike being pushed back as we got their Scotch blind bit of pressure on the flanks. We've got commandos dropping in here for Janko with their silent Sten guns. Sten gun 2S. It would make, I think, also for the Mark V Sten gun, also silenced version of that one as well. Fun fact. Sampers close against Sten guns and flamethrowers there. A go go. An additional fun fact is German Special Operations Troops under Scorsini were actually quite fond of the Mark II-S Sten gun as well. So they grabbed whatever versions of Cap from the captured British commandos and used them themselves. We got the com well, command section, that's just a cooldown from the first one. A captain here, Allied Force have definitely stabilized by now. We got there, go airdrop enter tank on the up for Scott. So again, a light just going to pull straight for the tank depot. German armored cars converging in the center. South South British Force creeping ahead here. We got Namely 4 2 wiped out. This is a bit of a blow there to Dunkirk. And there you go. Commandos closing in on the 2 to 1 here. Regular section coming up. Got a bit of recce. No anti tank rifles there for Janko. A lot of light vehicles here out of uh, Will the Noob so far. He's going for the fire support elements as well there. Guessing either for Pack 38 or the light infantry gun. He could be going for the flak feeling, but I would be a bit surprised if he went for the flak feeling now. Further south of the skirmish, got a medic bunk here. Note the position is a bit close as well to his teammate. Panzer Company there for Dunkirk, two thumbs up. Might intend to go for a panther. Let's pop back to Dunkirk. 
And over to Scotch as well. So that is the first Chelsea late game building it out on the match already. Have a bit rare to see the Valorant player in a sense rushing up Panzer companies after the, you know, has made it much more expensive than compared to like any of the other factions, I believe now. Which is why you typically actually don't see it for someone one ones A lot of the moon is just so expensive on top of like, you know, the previous building there. So at least no Bibelvins here out of Dunkirk. is also rather light on Jaegers. I'm sure some players will say mercifully low. Commando section wing end here. Grenade here being popped by the Grenadier. In the center of the armor cast having a half. And he's actually making a heist here. He's grabbing his opponent's anti-tank guns. Right under their noses. Losing the assault grenade is not a great trait there, but you know. At least he got the anti-tank gun. We did it, Egon! We did it! You see, the Panzer out there can only from the American. Yeah, but now we shall rob the bank. What bank? You know, the ones with the French Jake are safe in it. Ah, I think you're in the wrong place for that. Moving up with the sections up north here, we got the Arkards engaging the Ralph Court here. Hunter Farm is there for Scotch, so perhaps not quite behind there. Maybe hanging a hit there over Dunkirk in terms of armor. He's also he's actually gone for the Stuga Salt Group though. Two thumbs up. Only in some more heavy armor reserves here. The Stug Drei Ausführung D with some hardened stars from there running long. Mortar joining in Stug the bombarding. That of course does mean he's not gonna like how many resources for say a Panzer fall anytime soon, which would otherwise be quite handy against what's happening soon. After that says going up north now we got the Hunter Farm Sherman out. For the British player, we do get the company command post up there for Jenko. Pack 38's on the way though for Will the Noobs. Stuke racing ahead here, supported by the Stars, and we got Blend Cubs there. Scott being hammered by the Stuke. DS is sending from the high school shell, goes off here. Aggressive play there, sounds up. British force swing ahead here. Anti tank gun kind of A moving alongside the rest of the forces here. Stuke D needs to turn around. Stars will need to cover the flank here. Blend East Jake has been moved up. Mortar firing down death from above here. Smoke being the port though. Thumbs up there to Dunkirk. Great use of the smoke here. Does negate what the anti can easily do. But also in this case allows the stars from the other troops to get close here with the Allied troops. I guess we should see the Panther battle group or Panther ability that's chosen soon. And then could actually maybe see, I don't know, consider moving towards Stars from the sort after you wanted to. In the center there, it's another Brutally engaged that grenade is here trying to catch the paratroops. Oh, he was hoping to bait him into the other side there, but Scotch, they saw right through Will the Noobs. Pack 38, they're ready. Where's the other one? It's back at base. They're waiting someone to crew it. Heavy finding around the main streets here. Pacino, German force moving up. Stu deep running, covering fire here for the Torpen. Forcing the Americans to vacate the premise in the south. Look, British strong point remains. German force here trying to push back at that. Armored car hits a snag as its armored car. Oh, his engine gets blown out there by the commando. Starts still moving in. Airburst shells the machine gun. And looks like Dunkirk has already, of course, lost one machine gun. It's over there. Starsum can pursue the commandos here. Could threaten the flank here. This would be a big problem here for Janko. Yes, it's happening. It's happening. And with this, Jank's entire position falls apart. He has the hardened Starsum moving in. They're heavily armed, laden with bullets and grenades. They pull through here and slice through the British flank here like it's made out of cotton candy. And there you go, anti-tank and crew wiped out here. Good push by Deutschland. In this case, they're going to destroy it. Meanwhile, Hunter Farm Sherman counterattacking there. The men of Group Williams counterattacks is supported by the M2 Matilda. Stars will need to withdraw before the Matilda wipes them. Sherman dashing in here. Stars are about to get wiped out. Need to withdraw here. Stu D, though, I think is going to go down here. Quick shot there. And the Stug is kaput. Meanwhile, we got our counter attack here with Arkdrat's entertainment. Note also what he's doing here, actually. And this is actually, I think, a really smart move. 
like basically what ha he's doing he's exploiting a tactical tendency by a lot of players like you know they'll swing in the arm in one direction and then they'll typically like you know be a tail end of infantry and support weapons so of course what will the noobs is doing okay he, my opponent's got his tanks down here so there's likely going to be a tail end of like all the soft squishy stuff here and then what he does is he ignores the armor and then he attacks the tail end basically really smart move he obviously could be perhaps a bit executed but overall he's really hitting like in a spot that hurts so like you know this is kind of you know why some maps like this can be i think quite well because again they allow for these kind of like tail end attacks and forces actually players to be a bit more you know smart about how they attack otherwise they get smartly counter attack so two thumbs up will the noobs clears out the mortar six pounder gun in trying one entering in trouble gonna be assault here but you can see here will the noobs though while certainly clever in his application did lack a more force behind it so still very nice to see you there two thumbs up another hand from the there for scotch entertaining there up north got a panther on the way for dunkirk and deutschland some more star storm could of course always be a good idea here but we'll have to see if it goes for that panzer come fun from slowly rhyming sending from the nearby 26th panzer to be short Arkhart diving against the scouts up north. In the south side here, recce sections moving about. Well, the south pioneer is holding out. And we got the 2 to 1 upgraded here, clearly down with trying to use it against infantry. It's going to be pulling more of an anti tank support role. Further up north, in an attempt to push through here by Will the Noobs, quickly counter attack. Go for Otis Perspective and Jankos. He actually went for the flak feeling. Wow. I'm guessing it's because he's realized both his opponents have gone for airborne battle groups. And so he's, of course, figuring out there's going to be a lot of, like, air support out of them. Loiters from the British and maybe, like, you know, carpet bombing. So he's actually bringing in the anti-aircraft guns. So two thumbs up there toward the noobs. That's actually pretty rare to see. The meanwhile, Matilming 14 hit here by the Panther. Panther Kampfang 5 engaging with its Kampfang Kanonis 42. High velocity, 75 millimetre. Reiki section moving forward, Jake is doing what they can here. Troops are being suppressed here as the MD42 nearby provides some current fire. Stars still moving up. Got a light out here for the noobs. And in comparison with the Germans, the Allies do not appear to have like any anti aircraft guns going about at the moment. Armor car panther again supported by a fair amount of infantry of British lines and disarray here. And we got Janko bringing a 17 pounder gun. A lot more of those late actually. Up north, the Arctarts and M1 Enter Tank Guns and Pack 58s are also pushing in here. Allied forces there under Scotch withdrawing a bit here to a slightly safer position behind the road. Stars from there probably needs to be pulled back from enforcement and healing. We'll have to see what happens back here at the Axis base. And there you go, 17 pounder gun has been pulled forward here for Janko. And we got a panther fear there for Will the Noobs. No attempt to go to farm reserves right away. Got an ambulance on the way here for Janko. Enemy I'm Aircraft. The enemy has also, the they wouldn't have called it an enemy Stuka, they would call it an enemy Yabo. Yak bomb was short for that. That's what they called enemy, like, you know, aircraft like that, because they all assume they're like, you know, fighter bombers. So, slight uh, miscalculation. Anyway, setting north with the two Shermans. Pantheon almost done here. Got the Recon's aircraft. Sherman's diving in here. Assault is a bit of trouble. Pantheon almost done there for Will the Noobs. Anti tanks are final against 200 from the Shermans. One anti tank is going to fall dramatically short here. Particularly they got Veterans 1, which fortunately for the pack crew they do not. But even that, they can still do a lot of damage here. Pack crew's almost down. Second anti tank has arrived, but. It's not. Ooh, Panzerjäger is part wiped. Anti tank gun wiped. Heavy blows there to Will the Noobs. Bring in the Panther Fear though. Sherman, they need to be careful now. And we don't have like much an anti tank support. We do have one anti tank gun here still. Good chance taking out the Sherman here. Panther Fear going in, but we got a lot of shots left from the Shermans. Gonna get a bit rough here for Will the Noobs. Flanking behind here, Scotches. Sherman almost got it. Down it goes. But a lack of follow-up troops means the Panther Fee gets kind of caught in front. Oh, smoke deployed here at the right time. Obfuscates the Antangon's line of sight. And now the armored cars are panting upon it. Really nice save here with the noobs. 
brilliant save there against the American player here. Two thumbs up there toward the noobs. And he's being pushed back here. Armour coming in, supported by the Panther 3 here. Some nice shots there. Matilda 2, number 2 for Janko. No attempt to grant here. In the south, here, Matilda diving forwards into German forces here. We got more Jaegers out for Dunkirk. No Star Storm. Alas. He actually lose the ones he had. Oh dear. I think he has. Oh well, up north here, finally continues to still guard that flak feeling, just pulling anti aircraft duties. Sherman's bring forwards here. Panda 3 heavily damaged. The entire compartment is basically filled with smoke here. And they the driver can actually see anything. How do you know that you're going? I don't know, I'm just following where there aren't any shots firing from. 17 pounder coming forwards here again. Ambulance does seem a bit damaged, a bit dinged up. Also noting armor support here for the noobs. Dunkirk here. Oh, did I? Oh, he actually has gone for new star sums, what I think. At least he has some. Oh, to Scotch. We have lost control of a victory yeah, point. Can't be bombing here. That said, a single flak film is going to struggle to knock them out, but you know. We have some more attacker guns. That might be a shot. He's spotting scopes there, and there you go. Panther getting hammered here. Found the 17 pounder gun slicing right, right through the 80 millimeters of frontally sloped armor there. Sherman moving in. Hands are moving up here, veterans you want. We got 339 turn 22. Germans have the lead of the hours and up north here. We got a nice move here by one of the noobs. Flank around it from the north. Very good. And there we go. Copper bombing here on the Panther. The mortar. Gets a shot in from the 17 pounder gun. Not entirely sure what this was also supposed to achieve. We can see here though. At least Janko is put, using this to push further forwards. German forces racing in the center. Got Jaegers there and the Star Storm going for it. Makes a G for the face and Panther Sex. Backed up by the mighty Star Storm. Hell can lay for Scotch. Got Matils now flanked from the south here, exploring the fact that the Panther's been further pushed away here to go for the center now, catching the Germans in a really tough spot here. Star swimming hammered here. Panther 3 Arctic diving in here, weaving through the streets between the houses. Looks like the British assault here is losing a bit of steam here, falling back. Dunkirk could also go for another Panther. Human up north, the Arctarch with Panther 3 support and support moving in here. Swinging for the fences, hitting a mine here though. Appears to not appears to be a anti-tank mine. Engineers though about to get wiped out. anti tank in trouble here. And we got the loyalty up for Will the Noobs. Hunter Farm Sherman in trouble. Help cat arriving. Matilda's not with support and again. The Allies compared to the Germans just do not have any anti-aircraft support. Hunter Farm Sherman down, big blow. There's a scotch. Arc out there in deep trouble. Parrots continue to up here. British forces further drawing in the south is realizing the entire northern flank is falling apart here. So you basically at this stage could either fall back trying to assist or of course trying to push further in here, but I think falling back here makes the most sense. Hellcat there being hit by the Lloyd but nearly dodged it, going for that. Arc out there as Jaegers and Starstorm pushing in here. Snares off. Absolutely hectic fighting here. 17 pounding guns goes great hit here. Matilda. Hellcat's about to get knocked. Pantafeet diving in. Matilda's are slowly on the move. Hellcat down. Vesper selected here for Dunkirk. Snares on the Pantafeet blowing out the engine. Reposition that 17 pounder gun wing up the two Matildas into the battered streets of Bikino here. And there we go. We've got the Vesper out here for Dunkirk. German troops flanking in. Oh, but they flanked in a really bad spot. They can caught it with the two Matildas. There's definitely a chance here of at least one white commander's moving up here. Panther they being caught in the line of fire. German forces uh, pouring in more aggressively now. Panther with a slight bit of shock there. Matildas moving up again. Vesper there hanging back for now with a ton of fun in the howitzer. And in the center there, German falls under pressure here from the American artillery. Mortar wiped out in there. 
further north. There's not really a lot of resistance here though from Scotch. And so will the noobs is able to make pretty smooth progress due to a complete lack of Americans. Things are heating up here. The Tillers once more going forwards. I do feel like at this point, Ganker really wants to consider some Grant tanks here for a bit more heavier firepower there. Pantothy out again here for Will the Noobs. And we got the ambulance a little bit further forwards. Further up north here, Ponds being seized south side. We got a further build up. We got Xyz now. Scotch is linking up with Janko, perhaps realizing he's taking too many losses to be able to operate effectively independently. So he's moving in to more support his teammate. I think there's a good realization there, in a sense. Obviously, not good that it's happening, but you know, he's realizing what has happened and he's, you know, taking steps like an rectified. So, two thumbs up there. There we go, carbon bombing. Holy shit! It's not just one carbon bombing, it's both of them. It's the incendiary, it's a regular one. I think, though, they should have coordinated this with the push here for the best effect. They do catch the anti tank gun, but so much munitions were unleashed, and, you know. They only got an anti tank gun for it's so like, you know, that was a bit much. I think they should have tried to like push in so like, you know, the Germans were fixated on something and then called in rather than calling in and while nothing was happening, so the Germans could just easily walk out of its way. That's typically I find how you do it the best with these kind of things. It's about paying attention to what your opponent is paying attention to. And then like, you know, when they're already like, you know, taxed and they're dealing with a lot of stuff, then you drop the bombs because at that stage, like just, you know, you're just pushing more load onto them to manage. Instead here, they kind of sort of like unleashed the double, you know, bombing run at one moment when there wasn't like really a lot of mental load on the German players. Oh, to Will the Noobs and to Janko. I mean, it looked really cool though, but that was really it. Okay, they're clashing with the Panzer threes. 17 pounder guns sort of uh, waiting for the right time to move in. Got three and a three versus on a 52. Troops here reinforcing healing. Another panzer for you with the noobs. No armor reserves for him, at least not yet. My crew needs orders. Panzer for hanging back. Quiet here, actually, surprisingly so. Another Hellcat out. Mortars being brought up. And the South here, a few plucky Jaegers trying to be a bit cheeky. On step met with the full force of the British Empire. Now rapidly sent packing across the river. Vespers hanging back here still. Not really doing too much. Up north here, Hellcat running into two Pentathies and a anti tank And they're suffering massive damage. Right and swarming in there. And seeing the American running covering fire as well. In the south here, Panther moving forwards, but notably unsupported, gets snared up here. 17 pounder gun there, also lands a good hit here. Applying some fairly fierce damage there to Dunkirk's Panther. There we go, with another 17 pounder gun hit, it goes down to a very little health there. Air stuff going on up north here, lightly a air dropped anti tank gun. Or could be an air drop machine, but it is an anti tank gun there. Quick responding to that, we got more force being poured into that. In the south here, we can see that Janko's slowly inching force. And there we go, we do finally get some M3 grants on the way there. North here, German forces holding the line here by, well, what used to be an orchard. Commander swing in there, we make with the flak feeling they're quickly routed. We got the grant there almost done. Smoke deployed as they quickly Everything withdraw. Grant almost done. And North of was the Panzer of three and the Achtrag Hellcat withdrawing. American for a British fortress in the San Diego machine hit it hiding around there. But with limited anti tank support, the Matilda can easily move to deal with it. And there you go, M3 Grant out here for Janko. Second Panther out there though for Dunkirk and Deutschland. More German steel. Deutsche Stahl. Got the Matilla flank in the Aegis. Panthers mule pushing on the center here. The Portobello into tank gun. Dunkirk's on the hunt. 
Gonna need that 17 pounding in position there. Go setting up once more. Keeping like far the high close around here at the start. So we're currently out in the open. Easy targets, but looks like yeah, the Matilda's just gonna clear them up. There we go. Panther takes a right hit here from the 17 pounder gun. Slamming right through the front llama. Another shot in there. Go. Panther now massively damaged. But will the noobs 17 pounder gun? Grant's probably also had a bit of a roll there. Panther withdrawing back across the river up northy. Will the noobs is actually oh, looks like he was briefly considering another panther fleet, but perhaps decided against it. Maybe he's thinking command tanks or something else, but he's maintaining good presence up north. And Scott is just lacking the forces to show they deal with it sufficiently. Janko going for another grunt. Two thumbs up. South of Reiki section of the Acres, the MD42. Tell us the Panther and we got a bombardment call in here. And the Germans, I believe that's Dunkirk calling in his uh, artillery ability there. Let's pose his perspective. Yup, it is the Syrian artillery barrage over here to Scotch. 17 pounder gun goes down. Panther dives in, supported by the other Panther They're going for the Matilda 2. Up north, the Hellcat's going in. Panther withdrawing. And we got a lot of from the Germans. Allied forces continue to like any attack of guns. And both the ambulance and Matilda are. Left burning here. We got the pantry being met here with the grunt. And I think the 17 pounder gun actually got destroyed there by the Germans. That's going to hurt uh, Dunkirk a fair bit there. Eh? I could see him replacing it. And the center German forces being forged, but they're being met with how you find. We got Star Sultan with a mix of armored support here. And we got the vest being drawn closer to the front line here. Seventeen pounder gun. They're firing away. Scotch definitely lacking the missions now for the combat bombings. South Grant they up working together. Yeah, continued lack of anti-aircraft support here from the Allies. Stuff's exploding. Seventeen pounder gun. They're firing away. And more to recruit there for Scotch. Oh, almost wiped them there. Close call here. Very close call. We got a bunker there for Dunkirk. The enemy has only 100 points remaining. 100 the points left for the Allies. They down. definitely need to pick up the pace here. Like, needs something drastic now to really throw the Germans off and deliver a crashing blow there. That is for sure. Can they do it? Do they have the vision to achieve this momentous task? Monumental task, anyways. Panthers being supported by the Arcades here. Germans can't attack here. They definitely want those victory points to stay in their favor. Hellcat by one of the Panthers. Second Panther nearby, and we got more armor out there for Will the Noobs. Bunker's almost done. Continue pushing the center here. Allied forces absorbing heavy losses here. But they're able to grab the point despite intense German efforts to achieve otherwise. Bunker up there. Could be a repair bunker, could be another medic bunker. Machine gun bunker, of course, is always an opportunity, but I'd have to think they're a mistake. Grenade here on the empty assault grenade, close again, the paratroopers. No smoke from the American, folks, I'm up to seize the point. I'd say that was a bit of no sight there. Further south, the Grant's pouncing upon some of the German forces, but smokes from deployed do save their bacon. Yup, repair bunker there for Dunkirk. Two thumbs up. And of course, also assist his teammate. Got some supply drops, I think, there for Scotch. Yes, indeed. He wants more munitions, I imagine, for those cargo bombings. Commander's working on that center north point. Just seems to be sort of forgotten. Star swimming in there, Vecchi too. And we got a devious grenade sort of into the smoke. He almost wiping up the commanders. Excellent toss there. Two thumbs up. Right from the under fire, south side here, Grant's remaining position. Allies have managed to actually, like, you know, at least halt the bleed, but they need to do more than just hold it for like a few seconds. They need to, like, you know, more significantly gain an advantage. Out, I did be caught. Oh, and a veterans one as well. That does hurt Will the Noobs a bit. And they're going to take a fire slamming into the Pentathes. South side. 
Ganko slowly probing in as well here. German forces remain rigidly around the centre again. They're starting a anchor here for the German lines. But there you go, Grant's going in there. Cooper would be a big old problem. They come in, hold up against. Four Pantherfees that for one noob, two thumbs up. Snares here, the Pantherfee with a heavily damaged engine. And there we go, this time a bit better with line up here, I think, with the carpet bombing. Oh dear, oh! Yeah, Starsum caught in it, huge blow there, and the panel feet down. That was definitely better. Leaving Dunkirk once more short of Starsum score there, hopefully replaces that. There you go, Grant's moving forward here, yeah, Panthers heavily damaged here, because the camp right sub coming fire, making it a bit harder here. For Jenga to push in, the Grant's without taking, you know, pointless damage, and more crucially, being able to pull back without losing them. Up north here, Paris are trying to make an advance, but they are halted here. Centers all fall to the Jaegers, despite the car bombing run, the Allies were not quite able to capitalize on it as much as they'd like to. And we got something dropping in up here. It's another pair to record it at Scotch. Thumbs up. Ooh, Hellcat gets a bit close here. There you go, Pantherfee gets even closer, Paratroop is the bike. And there you go, another loiter call in here, continued lack of any Allied attack with guns. Oh, to Will the Noobs. And to Janko. Making a run for we got um, countless Pantherfees here, forming quite the obstacle for the Riflemen. But began to take support now, plus more riflemen here. But even as making probes in the north, the southern point is falling to the agency, posing another problem here for the Allied forces. We got the Antennas in really deep trouble there. There you go, white one of them, same one's about to go down. This is going to be a huge problem there for Scotch. German forces more than happy to exploit this. Oh dear, we could see Rafa getting wiped up all the pantries and will the noobs running off with more anti-tank guns. Not missing an opportunity there. Thumbs up to have Neon Grant pouring down southwards here, but with limited support here. We do have the six pounder gun here, but looks like Danko's given up on the dreams of further 17 pounder guns here. Hellcat swing in and going for the southern flank here now. Dunkirk's Panther is out of the game here, kaput. As countless Hellcats and Grants unleash a torrent of armor piercing death against it. Pushing in trouble with the Grants. German armor con rushing in here for the center parrots but they're just staring in uh, a bit confused in the Pantherfees, ignore them. And they're good, diving in high against the Grants and the Hellcats, but need to be careful. Swing in hard here, not without risks, but definitely, oh yeah, it's going a bit poorly here. Well, the noobs accidentally ends up sacrificing his pants of here without much achieve here. They're getting blown apart here, like at a shooting gallery. Snares off here, pants feet down. Got one of the Hellcats here. But he's almost lost every single pants of feet. Now he even gets one of the grants, an absolutely brutal armored engagement here. Panther joining in the fun here. Utter chaos. And we got the grant just firing in both directions. <laughs> What a sight. But in the end, it does go down. We got another grand lead for Janko. No snare on the Panther. Hellcat moving in. It could take out the Panther. A massive cataclysmic armor battle here. And there you go. Panther down. Leaving just the Panther Fee left here for the Germans for now. What a battle, ladies and gentlemen. Almost got the 250 after here. Panther Fee. Low and healthy. You got the machine in there left out in the open. Commanders racing in. More pans of fleets with the noobs. Gun incendiary bombing run here on the bunk and the ambulance. Like the sight here. Yeah, that went less well here. Seneca is heavy fun. Gun incendiary lying about there. They discard it. Socks. Got another star, some caught up for Dunkirk. Two thumbs up.
Bank over there, burning it through the commandos. Starts them out to fall back. Now that Panther there for Dunkirk for Deutschland. Flag feeling going at it. Grant moving up. Ability is ready for use. Yang is firing in. Ready to on your mark. The victory point is being taken from us. Not north here. We got the Panther versus the paratroopers. 219 versus 12. Allies are hanging here in the very balance. But fighting they are. Against a German war machine. Against Festung Europa. Brands are moving in. Up north here, Panther is swinging through there. The Grant here is the Panther. Commander's flanking in, they're catching the pioneers. They could get executed plus a snare there on the Panther. Not enough to damage the engine. We got Stars from there, forcing them to withdraw here. Hardened Panzer Grenadiers, veterans of the Eastern Front. Moving forward to the machine guns and G43s. Oh, unit wipe there. Painful blow there to the Allies. Quick withdrawal here, to tank or Hellcat and Grant. We got 201 versus 12 here. Allies continue to maintain there. Anti tank take up the half track. Trying to use the cap to the point here. Oh, section taking massive losses. Vespa still at it for Deutschland. The Allied forces are being a worn a bit thin here. Particular Scotch continues off here and over to Dunkirk and to Scotch. Another hundred five machine here for Scotch. They find around the center perch from the end command as they're going at it. Assault is almost wiped out. And the assault going here has got wiped. We got more Sarsen for Dunkirk. Finally, two squads at the same time. Two thumbs up if the other squad doesn't get wiped out first, that is. Panthervish keeping keep the flank clear here. Panthers moving up. Going back towards the ambulance. Hey, could you like attach this? Yeah, oh, is it a finger nine? It's my arm. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we can try. 250 after down. Absolutely brutal battle here for the center now. Right there, getting hammered. Troops are getting mauled here. So high explosive shells from the vest, but just rip them apart there, limb from limb. More stars coming forwards. Sample charging in the Pentagon. Got another cover bomb run here out of Scotch. More USS priority. Panthers moving into it. Oh dear, I think he's realized what's going on. They're trying to haul out here. Oh, and a Star Sim squad gets wiped uh, by the Grants. Heavy blow there to Deutschland. Up north here, Panther is pushing a Hellcat to anything they can. In the south part of the town, the Grants are pushing forward support of a mix of British troops here. Forcing away their Dunkirk's remaining forces that aren't a tank, effectively. More Panther fees up from the noobs up north here, converging here around the munitions point, even as the Panther force back here. Grant continue to lay down a heavy fuse laid there, death. Allied forces are definitely staging a bit of a comeback here. Dunkirk has been pushed his very limit. He's struggling to replace his losses. He's running out of infantry fast. Got more into tanks being airdropped in here for Scotch. In the center, there's continued finding grants moving up here. 139, this is 12. And we got another Lloyd in here still. No anti aircraft guns out of the Allies, but there you go. Flag fingers went down. Looks like it narrowly gets away. Very narrowly. Oh, Panther swing in there. Very aggressively ignored. 
Oh look, the commandos, and there go damage engine from the Antangles, but thankfully for the Ant, the Pantherfee, the Antangles are forced to withdraw here. Close call. They could have lost that Pantherfee. And the South Grand's being forced, supported by Sappers and Sections. We've got Hunter Farms coming in to push in here. John Kirk is looking in a really tough spot once more. His Jaeger's narrowly survived. He's the Grand Slay down an ungodly torrent, and they have high explosives. Panthers moving in for Deutschland. Crew shot there. More stars for Dunkirk. Two thumbs up again. South side here, Grants are falling back. Panzer three ace there. A true hero of the fatherland. At this point, his chest is probably filled more with the shrapnels than metals. Grants are dying in there. Actual Panzer assault gun is out there at this point. Panthers being swamped with the grants again. Both pop the veterans' vulnerability. Calling in an assault gun is called as well. A lot of assault gun is will the noobs. And over here to will the noobs again and to Jenko. Got 106 versus 12. South point is kind of like opening, like theoretically, quick rush there from say. Uh, Dunkirk could like maybe throw the allies off completely. Definitely a bit of risk of tunnel vision here, but like a quick like coup in the south there. Maybe like riding some troops along in the Panther could quickly nab it. 100 points left in that here for the uh, Axis forces. Panthers, half tech swing in there. Nima, British force can just swing up here, but again, the south flank seems so deliciously overexposed here. That's a hectic action here. Hunter Farm Sherman down, Panther Fee Ace about to get knocked out. Yeah, there's Ray. Salt Clan Ace versus Ace Commanders, but the Ace Commanders just ignoring them, but they're taking a five flag things still added. Panther Fees are exploding left and right here. Grants are moving in. Utter chaos. German forces are falling apart here. 87 versus 12. Trying to fix up the Panther, but it's gonna take a while here. Star swimming forts with the lone health and numbers. South side, I still feel like it's an excellent attempt to put, uh, opportunity to push in there. I just ignore the sender, go for the south. We do get something like that here from Dunkirk in the south. It's a Lone Star some squad, but they need to like plan ahead and flank around just in case the machine gun, because there is. Another grant there for Janka pushing up to four. Bring in Harty, anti tank being overwhelmed. Anti tank is Panther sitting up. Anti tank got knocked out. There it goes, starts to go straight up. Ooh, dust call in the smoke. We got Silla called in here. By the Allies. Oh no, it's Dunkeg, I think, calling it in there. Yup. Except it's not hitting at all. Grant swing in there, could cost them the Star Summer Squad. Oh dear. Should have supported that. Trying to push up the Sentry Northern Point form to the eyes. We've got 62 versus 12 here. Ah, and white. Further well, heavy loss there for the Allies. No turn to uh, other at this point would be pointless, anyways, for all the noobs. We do have Battlefield Salvage, but. Also, not looking like the time for that, unfortunately. Here we got the Panther moving forwards, but the ally on uh, the Axis situation looks. Uh, quite grim here. We got another panther on the way there. 45 versus 12. Crazy game indeed. And there you go, GG. I think Corba will. GG. So there you go. Looks like the Axis admit defeat. A brutal battle here. They were close, but I think they got a bit too focused on the center again. Ignored the south a bit much there. Some awkward unit preservation. But still, some absolutely impressive action. The Allies have proved some grit here, but also just proved the power of just the Grants now that they've been, you know, buffed. They are quite poor in the late game, particularly with some training there, can just absolutely decimate everything there. So definitely posed a problem there for the Axis Force. But again, I think they got a bit too sucked into the center. They should have focused more on the south again, should try to outmaneuver the Allies. And if they could just hold like the help like these two victory points here in the edges, I think they could have won this. But there you go. Thank you all for joining in. I hope you enjoyed this match. Hope you learned something from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment, tell a friend, tell a family. And as always, you can support the podcast by donating our Patreon. This is Imperium Saint Cheers, and see you all tomorrow for the last episode. Bye everyone.